Hey Gabe, hey Vila, hey Ethan. So, uh, as you guys could tell, y'all been hanging around here too. We had so much rain. Uh, it's actually Monday, and I'm out filming on Monday because Friday and Saturday was just raining cats and dogs, and I just couldn't get out. So, the nice thing is, I can see all the natural drainage conditions on your lot today. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's not. It's got a little erosion, which is to be expected, but it's not anything horrendous. Um, they're making a lot of progress over there. I don't know if you can see that house, but that right now has been the foundations poured. It's been framed. They're putting the decking on for the roof. The pink stuff on the side is the siding, and then they've got the windows in. So what we're waiting on for you guys is blueprints are off. We're waiting for permits and approval. I went in to talk to Anita. She's off on Mondays. She's actually at the design center today, but her assistant had no idea what the status was on your home. So I'm thinking in the next week or so, we, we might be getting close to getting permits approved and then pre-benching um, and trenching this lot. So once that happens, once we get it trenched, benched, formed, they put the pipes in, then the town inspector comes out and approves it. Once that happens, they pour cement, they give it a day or two to dry, it takes about 30 days to thoroughly dry. It's like a cake. Cement's kind of funny. It continues to cure towards the middle, and even after 15 or 20 days on a foundation like this, it's still squishy all the way down in the middle of it, if you could drill a hole. Um, the Hoover Dam has still got liquid cement in it, and it's been around for how many years? Um, it's still curing, so that's the crazy thing about cement. Cement even dries in the rain. It's crazy. But once we get the cement on the ground, then you'll see them frame it. it takes about a week to frame it. Then they're gonna side it, put in the windows, put on the sheeting, roof it, and then it's uh, sealed from the exterior. And your house will look like that one. Well, not exactly like that one, but it'll be that far along. They've also, uh, they've also almost finished the community center and it's looking beautiful. Uh, next time you guys are out, if you drive by it, I think you're gonna be able to see from how some of the other houses are coming along and then how they're doing the common areas, how beautiful this, this is gonna be. Um, it's just gonna be a really pretty little place to live for sure. So, other than that, hope you guys are good. Um, I'm trying to fill in, I don't have a lot of quality information for you, but that'll change in a week, maybe two weeks. You'll start seeing some activity. Uh, hopefully it's gonna dry up out here, at least in this part of Texas. Um, we always have something called April showers so february we don't usually have a ton of rain we usually have some cold weather though uh so january february march april and may right right in april we have a lot of rain so i'm hoping we can get everything done get the house sealed to the elements and then they can do the interior finish out work all right y'all be good see you next week